Bezos Buckaroos. Name of my band. Thank you for the prime sub, man. Four months already. Damn. Keep up the great content, bud. Let's prayer. Thank you for the four months, dude. Yo, my stream was, the YouTube stream was set to unlisted. What the fuck? event not over i don't think so is it oh, amazing what happens when i change the fucking youtube status to not hidden why did it do that automatically why would it do that automatically Hang on a sec. There we go. Somebody type in exclamation point tit on YouTube. I Nightbot should be working over there. I didn't, I should have tested it, I forgot. Why is it no worky? Why is it no worky? make it work with YouTube.
Do I have to have a separate one for YouTube? Do I have to have a separate Nightbot for YouTube? I fucking better not. That'd be dumb. You guys just have to bear with me for a second here. I got to figure out how to get this. When's the next wipe? Who wants to tell him? All right, so do I have to set up an account for... Here's the thing that I don't get is do I need to set up... Jeff. Yeah, so it's added it's added to um I've got Nightbot added. How do I tell it to join from the control panel though? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. the YouTube waters we're trying to perfect it at this point we've got chat working we've got the stream working I'm trying to get the commands to work but I don't know why nightbot isn't really enjoying the content on here and Thanks to at the object for gifting. GTM streams, thank you for the prime, the brand new prime. <laughs> cool meat sandwich, is it, as the bot said. It's supposed to be concrete sandwich, but cool meat sandwich. Thanks for the two months. Uh, oh, what was that one? What was that one? That was a super chat. That's new. Where does that show up at? There it is. 
Not your business. Thank you for the 499, man. How long does this event last? I don't think anybody really knows. Nobody knows. I haven't seen them turn it off. Hopefully that's still running. Otherwise, a little bit of false advertising. We're hunting nothing. I'm still trying to figure out how to turn Nightbot onto YouTube. Hobo Twitch, thank you for the prime. Southfield, thank you for the prime two months. I don't see a join channel thing anymore. So does this mean I need to sign up with a... Do I have to have two separate Nightbot accounts? Is there any way to copy or export commands? Do you guys know? On Nightbot? Looks like that's going to be what I'm doing tonight is. Oh, fuck. leave it up there until people on youtube want commands all right so to hunt bloodhounds oh i was gonna do a fucking i forgot i was gonna do videos this morning i got so distracted fuck I was going to do some videos this morning, chat, and I totally forgot. I owe the Patreons a crafting video. I really owe the Patreons a crafting video. And uh, I was going to do a loot guide. Oh, well. to see if it works nacho why didn't it work kurt locko kurt locker wow uh thank you for gifting a sub good point lee there it is Pocky Taches from Twitch. Glad I can support on you. And you Thanks, Nacho Business. Written, thank you for the 100 biddies. And a hype train started. Look at that. Look at that. So each day, what we're going to do is we're just going to work towards a little bit better... Uh, um... A little bit better product each day.
on YouTube and Twitch. We'll get some overlays done eventually, finally, hopefully. Can I just buy this fucking thing? I know it's a little bit of money, but 17 of them damn things. I don't feel like it. Wait, why are those both, both plus six? Did they change? Wouldn't one of these more than the other? Uh, something's not working right right there. The SC5, get that extra bit of ergo out of it. Because we're gonna need it. Can I get any more ergo anywhere else? They fixed the event quest lost on death. It wasn't a bug. They, um, failing the quest on death is by design. Unfortunately. McScruffy, thanks for 10 gifted subs, dude. Jesus. Thank you, sir. That's probably not the cheapest reparter, is it? Scav Street, see if we can get some D batteries. You don't fail the quest. It says you fail it, but it doesn't fail. Near as I can tell. Ninja, things are going good, man. Do you know the spawns on woods? You can't find them there. Um, Bol Sunken Village and Regular Village, uh, around Mark Circle, uh, behind the at like checkpoint stuff. They'll spawn like basically where cultists are, uh, and then RUAF or not RUAF. Sorry, um, the Med Fob is where they spawn on woods. How's the weather in the States? Depends on <laughs> States are pretty big, Ninja. It depends on where you're at. Why am I running the beta at Max Traders? Uh, Cause I deleted my stash. Where can you find the background music? Well, I suppose that should be one command we add, huh? I'll add that. Let me add that right now. Add command, exclamation point music.
there on YouTube if you type in exclamation point music. Hopefully it works. Not 100% sure. Here. Since... Wait, did it work? It worked. It's just slow. Kerlocker. Holy shit. Thanks for nine gifted subs, dude. Whoa. Uh, potato aims. We've got to figure out something with the showing of firearms because on YouTube, I can't actually handle a firearm on live stream. So I got to see if there's a way for me to change the scenes and have one scene on YouTube and one on Twitch. And I think there's a way for me to do it, but I'm not sure. We'll test it here between streams. All right, we need D batteries. So let's go hit filing cabinets. There just so happens to be a couple right here. Hey, sir. Well, thanks for coming saying hi, man. You have a good night's rest. <sighs> find a, how do you find a will to play? Um, well, that's not the kind of battery you want, but okay. Um, <laughs> boy. I mean, it's different for everybody, right, man? Such a tough question. Um, being a content creator is obviously part of it for me, right? But I also spend a great deal of effort, like we talked about in a video a while ago. I, I cut people out of my circles that are very negative about the game and bitch about the game and just hate on the game because that definitely affects your mood a lot. Major McScruffy with eight more gifted subs. Jesus, dude. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the support. I didn't. I said thank you to Kurt Locker. He got... He did nine. Right? I didn't miss you, Kurt. Did I? I swore I said something. Why are firearms in the background a problem? Firearms in the background are not a problem. Ooh, there's a D battery. Yay. Uh, handling firearms on stream is against terms of service with YouTube. It's the stream, the stream. You can't do it on stream. Zombie. Well, thanks, man. Glad you get him. All right. Um, wait, I'll loot this. I think we go find the next uh, next set of filing cabinets, which is going to be in the not-so-safe-to-loot LLC building. If we can get there without dying. So I moved chat over to here. I keep looking over here for chat and I'm like, where's chat? But I've got it over here now because it's combined and it's easier to, it's cleaner, I think, to have it here. So it's going to take me a bit to get used to that. The mental fortitude to deal with Tarkov. 
I wish a gauge of tough was the ability to tolerate a video game. Because at the end, that's all it is. Green gloves. <laughs> so what we can do, um, I believe, is I can set, from the looks of this, is I can set a different scene up to go to YouTube. And um, we'll just put up the gameplay screen or the background screen, and I'll do a gun show on Twitch and uh, do that real quick, and then we'll be done. And I think, I think that's pretty straightforward and simple. If it works, I could be wrong, and I could have to restart the stream for that to happen, and we're not going to do that. Bloodhound's still in the game. I think so. We're going to go find out. What's my PC specs? Uh, i9 9900K. Um, 3080 Ti, 64 gigs of RAM. Yeah, that's the important stuff. all maps on 75 frames minimum uh i think i usually sit around there with streets it might dip lower now and again there's fucking keys everywhere man i have been getting some banger ammo out of this crate all week i was doing scav runs this weekend and i was getting there's nothing there now which is weird but i was getting some crazy loot out of that this weekend or ammo what resolution do I play at? Uh, we're, we should, I better be on 2K. Yeah, 1440. Yeah, on other maps, most, uh, uh, on streets is the only map I'm low. Every other map I'm over 100 frames usually. Is the game getting better with performance each wipe? <sighs> sort of. So what usually happens is the wipe happens and performance falls through the floor. And then after a couple of months, it gets back up and it's better than it was. The, the trend is better. How's that? How's that for an answer? The trend is better. But we do have hiccups along the way every wipe. Like the performance at the start of this wipe was fucking hideous. Like, absolutely hideous. There's no other way, no other word to describe the performance this wipe, but hideous. Is the event still going? As far as I know. I, mean, I guess, I guess it could change at any moment. Salewa. Be nice if I had a uh, bigger rig. Maybe there's a dead scav outside we can go check. Because we're at the point now where I'm going to start throwing out. And we got two more cheap things to throw out.
you've had sussy moments the last few days. Yeah, I mean, anytime events, regardless of whether more cheaters log on to play or not, anytime you have events like this, it's going to be a magnet for the cheaters. They're going to they're going to go to those maps. So you're going to be more inclined to run into them. It just focuses everybody. Seen as how we are a giant loot pinata right now. With no ears. Was helpful. EP. Wait, did I grab that? Boomer looting. What's boomer looting? Term is unfamiliar. Mouse dragging? I do both. It depends on what we're looting. Some stuff is worth the effort of uh, dragging, so you put it in a specific spot because you have a plan. Other stuff is uh, worth clicking. Just depends on what you're doing. Well, I think we're I think we're pretty much capped. I would like to find some more D batteries, but two in a raid is pretty good. That's gonna be a fuel. Oh nope a drill. Hey, D battery. What do you need SIGs for? They're worth a bunch of money. Should be worth about 20k. It is Monday. They might have gotten cheaper on Monday. D, I, D batteries are really expensive right now. You need them for the D lock for the thermal, which is why I'm after them. They're like 40k a piece. 30, 40k. Unless you can catch them cheap, so. I was wondering, your PC isn't what it used to be, and I play AFT on low settings, but also I'm sort of new to the game. How much of a disadvantage do I have? Your disadvantage from your PC is completely dwarfed by your disadvantage from your game knowledge. Just FYI. I don't have my OG Twitch chat. McScruffy, did the bot talk right there? I don't got the the bot. Ch did you get an answer, McScruffy? The only thing I can see is my integrated chat right now. And that bot might not be coming through on the integrated chat.
Logic's bot is broke again. I wonder. I have to go look and see what happened. Do I have a double PC setup? I do. I've had one for over a year now, I think. Yeah, I want to. I'm gonna use. We're gonna use M1A Reap uh, for Bloodhounds. You want to have big mags, big big bullets and big mags. Not as the. I mean, for the Bloodhounds, yes, but more so for the players. Half-assed engineer, you're welcome, dude. I did. I was watching when it happened, Sudo. It was fucking bull. It sucks, man. It sucks. But I feel like everybody in chat knew it was going to happen, too. Like, I, 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 Landmark, I think even Landmark knew it was coming. Landmark, he was about four hours into doing the, the quest, um, hunting bloodhounds, and he was, I think he needed five more, is all he needed, and, uh, cheater, he died to a cheater. <laughs> I have no expectations to get through this quest, like, it's just kind of one of those things we're going to try, and if we do, awesome. But there's a lot working against us. Let's just put it that way. Pretty good little scav raid, I would say. He got to, I think he got to, he got to 34 or 35. Why hide my stash value? Wait, what? Who's hiding their stash value? Oh, hide my... McScruffy talking about hiding my screen. Oh. It said streamer at the top of my stash. It hides my name. All it's doing is hiding my name. It's my experience, my stash values right there. All right, let's see what D batteries are at, shall we? I'll buy them at this price and sell them at the higher price. Didn't that used to take four? Or that used to take four. All right, what's the difference in ergo between a 30 rounder and a 50 rounder? So the 50 is negative 17 and the 30 is negative six. Yeah, we'll just go with these. Where's my M80 at? Do I not have any M80? Ugh. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Thank you. 
Bit of M61 for the top. Bring some FMJ in the bo the pocket. I think we'll put that there. We need to make sure we get a CMS. I need to be not tempted to loot. Like we kind of just need to get in and get out. Do I have a, a video about reducing Tarkov lag? No, um, because it's so dependent on each individual system, man. I've thought about doing some tips kind of stuff and show you some different settings um, to show people different settings and things, but I'm just hesitant to do it because I feel like I, I could potentially do more harm than good. I think we'll just bring a itty bitty bag just so we have stuff that we might need. Now we've got a little bit extra space and that bag doesn't take up that much room. average do you get per scab raid i mean it's, it's so dependent on your gear it's so dependent on your gear like if you have a big backpack you can get twice i mean low end 200k two two three hundred k usually on the high end um over a million just depends on how big your bag is Streets is just so straightforward. What am I sipping on? Water. But you know what? I'm going to go see if my wife will make me a coffee. Oh, it's noon, too.
Wipe Thursday's a meme in the community. MK17. Let's try to see if we can get two different screens here real quick. Let me see what happens. If this actually works. I don't think it will. Yeah, Starfield look cool. Mike, how's it going, man? Yeah, nope. Well, we can't do gun shows on Twitch chat. I'll work on that. I'll see what I can figure out about doing different scenes on different stuff. just when we do rain streams we just do them on twitch mantis we just don't do a stream when we do rain streams hey tokage how's it going man you think they'll do white before or after the fourth the fourth of july will have no effect on um um wait i am absolutely running across one of the worst places i could run right now oh fuck me i am not where i thought i was talk about setting yourself up for fucking failure here yikes I thought I was up by resort. Fire distracted me. I 
I feel like for sure one of these the other guys is going to have a... One of these guys has to have a thermal. I mean, is anybody going to be running around at night right now without a thermal? These guys picked the wrong time on accident? Haven't heard any fucking grenades, any shooting. Does that just mean somebody's probably boinked all of them from afar by now? I'm not sure what that means, to be honest with you. Maybe at cottages or power station? Yeah, but I mean, for people to not have fought them yet is what's not hear any grenades any shooting that's the part that's got me fucking weirded out right now because there's somebody else just like me out here started over three hours in order to, I, I went and died to test out to see if the, uh, the, I had four, but I died for my video to test and see if it did reset the, uh, count when you died, which it did. Um, so we are at zero right now. God, they can be up at weather too. Which, if they're at weather, would make sense. We would have been the closest spawn. I 
Making sure I'm not getting shot in the back here when I come up over the top of this hill. Pretty sure that's them. Trees make it super hard to scan with the thermals. I don't want to go down in there to try to fight them. I'm guessing that's just a regular scab over there. Oh my god, I'm stuck in bushes. they run to Fuckers are probably inside the building, aren't they? I really don't want to go down there inside the building. my mags. Any advice for new players starting this wait late and wipe? Um, today specifically, right now with this event, it's pretty tough because I would say avoid customs or I would say play customs night 
but playing Customs Knight right now is not going to end well for you. Um, don't go into raid without a suppressor. Don't go into hot spots unless you absolutely have to. And scav a lot. Scaving is going to be your best friend. Scaving streets right now is actually really lucrative because a lot of the players have... Um, moved on to... Um, yo, this guy's a fucking spaz. So what do you guys think? The other three are inside? I keep feeling like I'm seeing a thermal signature, just like a faint one right here on the edge of the hill. My dumbass didn't put a fucking light on this thing. Does he have one? Oh, he does. That's my guess, chat, is that the remaining three are inside. And with it being early, I'm kind of inclined to take the risk just because it gives us a chance. All five of them. The last thing I fucking needed. God damn it. get my leg? I have no idea.
FMJ. Where'd the other one go that I killed? There he is. See you. Oh, that's a fucking bullet hole. Never mind. Shit, those are full shits. Those are worth a ton. Oh my god. That was just a regular scab, wasn't it? No, it was not. Your hybrid suppressors like super cheap now. <laughs> they look like they're super common. Huh? I quit. I quit today. Okay, then quit. Quit for today. Love you. The wife quits for today, apparently. Oh my God, this guy's got a gin on him. Hey, the gunslinger. Ooh, is the gunslinger going to work, though? Fuck, it's not. Thank you. Sorry. What do we do, chat? Like, it sounds stupid, but I need the money. What's a trooper selling for right now? Troopers only only 100k. That's 20k a slot though.
you say only 100k like that's not a lot of money Because we're now at the point where I'm using fucking FMJ even. Which is not ideal. Why am I picking up 855? Uh, what's 855 selling for right now? It's only selling for 240. I've been selling I've been selling 855 for like 600 around. Which is why it's weird when you guys say it's sub Is it's that you know why it's that cheap is cuz everybody's able to get it. I want that Gen 4, too, but I'm not going to get rid of the, um... <sighs> Should have brought a bigger bag, I guess, huh? There's a full page under 500. Yeah, and my guess is, is because the rogues, these... Fucking bloodhounds have so much of it that it's really cheap for them to. Uh, that's it's it's just flooded the market. Ugh. It'd be my guess. So we'll just take the W and uh, work our happy ass on our happy ass on our way out of here. That scav. Isn't eight five five pretty good IRL? I mean, it, 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 it's so. Yo, I that guy's been bleeding all over the place. See blood all over. What's the best way to finish assessment part one? Which one's assessment part one? Imagine bumping into the cultists now. That's what just dawned on me, and I'm like, uh, I think we're gonna. that you think i read twitch chat and ignore youtube okay couldn't possibly that i'm in the middle of a stressful situation on a raid and i'm paying uh, attention to the game make up his mind whether he was going to sit still or not. Is that barrel? Yep.
Yeah, I know. I know. Assessment one's the lightkeeper task. I'm, I'm, is it the one where you got to kill a bunch of PMCs around lighthouse? I can't remember what assessment part one is. Just kill players, man. They made it 10 times easier than it used to be because you just got to kill people on the chalet side of the map now. You don't have to kill them in that tiny little box. We're well, back in my day. We had to kill them next to the bridge. It's just a lot of raids, man. Time to get out. It's good to go. Tom Foolery, thank you for the prime sub. Big Poppy, thank you for the prime. Chussep, thank you for the prime. All new primes, thank you guys. The scav was just chilling in the middle with them, wasn't he? Oh no, he bled out. Achoo. Welcome, Tom Fleury. I have it set up, Tommy, to not show last names. I can change it. It was just an idea right now because I know a lot of people use their real names on YouTube and they might not want it on my stream. Like, live is one thing, right? But forever immortalized in my stream, people might not like that. Bloodhound harder to kill than raiders? No. I don't think so. Chat. I'm glad I didn't listen to you guys. Chat trying to steer me wrong. That's just vendor trash. We're gonna run out of M61 though doing this. Definitely don't have enough of that saved up. <laughs> 
chat. I give him eight batteries. He gives me six back. And 70,000 XP and 45,000 rubles. <laughs> I do enjoy the... Uh... Oh, shit. That's an interesting weekly. Who's up for a little scav army, guys? We're going to keep doing streets. Um, to, uh... Get D batteries. Apparently now I need them for a task, so... Is this even worth selling? Ah, fuck it, we'll sell it for... For that, How much M61 do I even have? I have not enough. Not enough chat. Don't even have M80 really even. I'm gonna burn through this too. Fuck, man. How much do I have M80 wise? Oh, we got some 993 though, so that'll get us through a couple of raids. All right. Scab army. Who's coming with? I recognize that name. Where's the best place to fight bloodhounds? It's hard to say, dude. Um, we're probably going to do shoreline and woods. Uh, customs is going to have a lot more players. You're just going to have a lot more players to contend with and more closed in spaces. So it just kind of depends on how you want to fight them. Me, I just want to fight them right now with... Uh, a thermal from a far way away at night where I don't have to deal with them so it'll be woods and shoreline type your names in chat so I know who's going play on US Midwest servers you guys are welcome and if you can't you're just going to get disconnected 
Away we go. I already did Kappa Shadow Ninja. I've done Kappa. I've done all of the Lightkeeper tasks. Why the smaller container? Because I got paid to delete my stash. Keep up the awesome raids. Good luck rebuilding the stash to all its former glory. Scoo, thank you for the 12 months, my man. Tracksuit time? Fuck that. How hard was shoot Street Shooterborns in Heaven for you? I got it done in one raid. It's one of my shorts. There's a short I did that showed me. I killed two guys right out of Two of them were two guys right out of spawn. Like within five seconds of each other. On that spawn by the theater, that really shitty spawn where you got to jump out of the broken window. Where I kill people all the time. Why so much hate on the tracksuit? Because that ta running four or five hundred interchange raids to kill Killa a hundred times is like dragging your balls across glass. You want to know how I stay sane and enjoy Tarkov? It's because I don't do shit like that. Background music slaps. Thanks, Jordan. It's mine, man. Exclamation point music. for filing cabinets. I wrote the music? Nope. I work in collaboration with producers that make the music because they're actually good at it. But it's made for me and my tastes. And I am an owner of the music, so... At least we got peas, right? I can uh, offer it for free for folks. It's part of the gig. Like it was part of the whole agreement was we'll do music together. You guys make it. I'll, I'll advertise it. But we want to make it for the community, if you will. Is that you? Scav Army. What's up, Nerbs? Четко ты, четко. Опять. Шкерится кто-то походу. 
Тяга Изи. That was a PMC that said, fuck this place, I'm out of here. <laughs> Scavs have arrived. Yo, no, you'd be able to join Scav Army. It doesn't matter what servers you are on, guys. We all join this. You guys all join my servers. The problem with you being in Norway is you might get uh, uh, ping kicked is the problem. Ow, the fire. The fire hurts. What ammo is that? Well, this all got looted. All right, we'll check the filing cabinet right here. How are the Bloodhounds to fight? They're not too bad, especially if you really super cheese them by like, like what I'm doing with a thermal and fighting them at a distance. The problem with them is your players. The hardest part about fighting Bloodhounds is players. There's a dead Timmy there. Island Cabinet City for batteries. Do you think they'll stay in the game at the beginning of the wipe? No, I think they'll... I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised they were still in this morning. Um, I think it's good they're leaving him for a little bit longer. Uh, if anything, what I suspect they'll do is they'll probably just turn the spawn rate down on him. They'll probably leave him in for the rest of the wipe. Maybe? I mean, there's a chance of that, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I need marbles, too. Yeah. Um, um, they could take them all the way out, though. How's the cheating situation on Tarkov? The same as it's been all white? The same as it's been for fucking two years, three years. farm than raiders only because of the players um they're easier in the aspect that they're not as hard to fight as raiders and they're 100 spawn rate on three different maps but you're fighting with players
What's up, Casa? Things are going dude. good, dude. How you doing? OD batteries, man. Sad face. We'll go check some filing cabinets and stuff. Um, or not filing cabinets, toolbox. We'll check toolboxes in here. I'm trying to think of where else to go to look for batteries without just like searching the entire map. Yep, we just fought Bloodhounds last raid. They are indeed still here. It's Spider Scav. I played Hunt Showdown? No. Haven't really been drawn to it. Matches. I need batteries. Yo, somebody went on fucking scav merkin spree here. What's the best loot I've gotten from Bloodhounds? Um... What we get? We got some, um... A lot of attachments. The mags. Uh, if you get lucky, ammo. Armor's pretty good too, and pretty cool hat you got over there, big guy. <laughs> what is he wearing? Oh, he's got the fireman helmet on. That boy can't hear anything. Man, this all got looted. All right, well, this is all looted out. I'm gonna go ahead to the filing cabinets over by Mark Room. See if I can get anything over there. The D batteries. Roger, roger. What else are we after? Probably doesn't tell me, does it? No. That's for customs. Does one join the group? No, I invite order then. You just tell me your name and I right click and invite. We had one that had a Gen 4, they had some good helmets, some U locks, some backpacks. It's all sorts of stuff that you can get off of them. And tons of nades, yeah. The 
Mr. Heavy Breather. Is there any other buildings that have a ton of filing cabinets in them? Oh, the fucking mail room has a ton, doesn't it? How much time do we got? 18 minutes? Man, we might run over there if I don't find any. I need D batteries! I want D batteries and cigarettes and marbles and strikes and... Oh, there's strikes right there. Look at that. Marlboro strikes and D batteries is what I'm looking to trade. I got some matches, brother. Yeah, yeah, easy. There's always a trade. You never take anything for free. These already get looted. They're all empty. Is there a barter? Uh, so D batteries, yes. There's a barter, but I also have a daily. The D batteries will give. Uh, um. What's it called? Uh. The D lock for the uh, Reap IR thermal. Whoops. I'm good, man. I keep the matches, bud. I think we'll head to post office, I guess. Check these technical crates in here. There's three of them. Probably been looted, but yeah, the two the the stashing stuff for Ragman is a hard thing to get done in one raid, man. Really hard. not good ammo is it nope um what do we get rid of fuck that weapon parts are a pain in the ass to sell there is good loot up here if you guys want there's some good loot up here if you guys want it there's a power pressure gauge and a fuel conditioner in this crate that i don't got room for Upstairs. Probably could have switched it for the air mid, but we're going to end up throwing the air mid out anyway, so we just as well give it to somebody else. Where's the cash hat? There it is. And a vase in here. The cache that's underneath the ramp has got a, a vase in it. Stop, Mike. Those purple snakes need to wake up. Yeah. I don't think they're asleep. I think they know exactly what they're doing. Which is the unfortunate thing. Bloodhound's still 100% spawn. I assume. I think so. I don't know. 
Um, we had them. We we ran one raid as a PMC, and they were there. Do we get any ammo out of here? Nope. It's already looted. Looted. It looks like. Reap IR thing might be worth money, but did I manage to complete the event task? No. There's ears in that scav for anybody who doesn't have ears. We are five of forty in right now. And we will keep trying. Streets have been boring for PvP. Yeah, the events pull the PvP off the of streets for sure. They did with the boss event too. got 1D battery. Oh, oh, maybe somebody didn't loot in here? I think that bunkhouse key is actually worth a lot of money. Like, that's actually worth a lot of money. Yo, the door was closed, but these feel like they were looted. Anybody need a, uh, <laughs> a thumb drive? Because I just threw one on the floor. <laughs> Gone are the days of those being worth fucking a bunch of money. We'll go check this little room and then we'll go check the. Wait, wait, what? What did I see over here? Oh, blue tape. D batteries. We're just pinching pennies now. Nice, McScruffy. Thank you. Where are you at right now? Wait. I think I hear you. Been loving the content, man. Hope to get a game in on your scav run sometime. Brute. Thanks for the two months, dude. Yeah, we'll get some scav raids in today. 
We got eight minutes. And we're gonna. We got a bazillion filing cabinets in here. We're gonna try to get through. Shit, you can search these too. Sweet. Yo, I've got so much. Like high value loot in here. Battery for battery. Thank you. Those paids are going for like 35k too, so. CPU, if you're talking to me, Snipes, CPU, I mean, it can have an impact, but it probably isn't your biggest impact, to be honest with you. Yo, I don't like how all the safes on this map are fucking locked. Oh, shit, there is... Need marble rolls? Another one for you. Hey! This room is not big enough. <gasps> There's a Tetris in this one. I don't have room for it. Uh, top right, second from the top. In fact, just definitely loot these because there's loot I don't have room for. Screws and Tetrises and Dan Excerpt keys. I'll go upstairs. I'll leave those to you. I didn't, that doesn't sound good. Give me them batteries. Nope, no more batteries. My limit appears to be three. Better than zero. You need big guy. A uh, split. I don't or have one of those. I don't have. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Here's a morphine. I appreciate it. You want the um? You got D batteries. Hell yeah, man. I'll take them. Trade them. It's courtesy of the guy with the broken leg. Well, there's a... A power bank right there. Don't leave that behind. Thank you, sir. I 
I never look at my scav stats. Yo, that was a big scav raid. There's so much loot. So many fucking quest items too. That might be enough to turn in my task. Just maybe enough. Dude, we got so much loot that raid, dude. <laughs> Like, sure, it takes a little bit of work to get it, but, like, get a couple of green batteries, fucking D batteries, all sorts of goodies. Fresh account? No, Jordan. Just running scabs, man, to get D batteries. And loot and money. It's a good way to fill in between PMC raids and make cash. Oh, yeah, we got a shitload of D batteries now. Hell yeah. And then he gives us six back. <laughs> not good the hell is all the M80 at that I have? Oh, is that it? Easily a top 250 tux drummer. Dude, dude. Thanks for the three months, dude. Brute, thank you for the two months. Oh, I got you. Never mind. I'm dumb. Got too many screens going on.
70. Let's go 85,000. We'll keep this for now. I get sold to Jaeger. What is my PMC kill to raid ratio? Uh, I don't know. How many PMC kills do I have? I have 965. It doesn't make it bad, but it's definitely worse than the 30 rounders. Eighth. There is pluses to it, though, for sure. You don't have to worry about... Um... You, you don't usually run of ammo in a single fight. to you well, those are nice and cheap I think we'll stock up on some of those while well, they're cheap right now what am I missing all these Nico Show, hey man. We just started streaming over here, dude. So it's cool that YouTube is actually showing it though. That is cool indeed. right now um if we go to that screen
the PSP PS4B craft worth it? Um, it is. Bathrion, if you use PS12B, man. What's up, Stephen B? Do I keep a cash buffer? Um, sort of. I mean, yes. But it really changes based on a couple of different things. I gotta go pee chat. I'll be right back. Did I start streaming on YouTube? Um, we we streamed a while ago, um, like a, like a year ago. We started doing some test streams just on YouTube. Um, YouTube wasn't where it is right now. Uh, it was it's better now than it was then, obviously. But um, as far as recently, it was Friday night we started doing these dual streams, where we're both on Twitch and. Uh, YouTube, because I figured I'd give you guys a choice for those that still, because there's still people that want to watch on Twitch, man. They, they prefer the experience over there. And there's people that fucking hate Twitch. So I figured, why should I have to make you guys pick? Let's just give you guys a chance to watch wherever the hell you want. You know what I mean? So exclamation point tit will bring up the last video I did and I got to add that to YouTube real quick. If somebody would be so kind to type it in Twitch, then I can just quick copy paste it. And we spawned in a really bad spot. Give me a chance to get into a safe spot here chat and i'll make it to where youtube's command works as well i didn't realize nightbot i had to have two separate setups for nightbot to work on youtube and twitch so we have to populate all of our commands from 
YouTube over to Twitch. So it's going to be a process. So copy, paste, and submit. There you go. So any questions about the Bloodhounds, I answer in that video. Exclamation point. T-I-T. Today in Tarkov. Exclamation point. T-I-T. As the community so lovingly has come to have it. Probably pain pill first. Spawn rate's 100%? I think so. How do I do two scab cases? Uh, by having max crafting. You thought YouTube did prime subs? No, YouTube has members, um, which give you a couple of benefits, which are things, oops, I just saw thermal signature right there. Where'd it go? I just, I know I fucking saw it right there. At least I think I did. It's a bug. How did people find out about the white bean Thursday? The white bean Thursday is a meme, my friend. It's just a joke. Because it's one of the most common questions asked in streams, people just say Thursday as a way to dismiss the question. Me? When people ask me when wipe is, I just tell them after poop. That's my way of doing it. Not before poop, after poop. As far as when it's going to be, nobody knows. B and by nobody, I mean nobody. BSG doesn't even know when they're planning on wiping at this point. They probably have a rough idea. Um, but as far as the date or what they're looking towards, um, they don't either. Is it possible to do 1440p on YouTube? It is. It's actually possible up to 4K on YouTube. The problem is, is my internet does not have enough bandwidth to pull it off for now hopefully in the future well, I think that's them Jesus fucking Christ Is there a couple of them that are dead already? Class five and them having shitty ammo. sneaking up on me.
Marini let's go how you liking the event and I've been gone for a minute went on vacation much needed now time to go crayon Tarkov. Hey! On to, thank you for the nine months man. Well you picked an interesting weekend to do it because it's uh, a week to do it because we got bloodhounds right now. What are we at? Well, we've only killed one of them. Oh, brother, where did they go? Yo, if I didn't realize they spawned on spine, too. That is actually kind of fucking terrifying. Especially if one of them runs back over the top of the hill when I'm trying to cross right here. I have to expose myself in one of the worst ways possible on this fucking position to go after these fucking guys right now. Stand on a fucking giant rock in the middle of a field. That's a burn barrel. ate so many rounds i missed a lot but he ate like five or six rounds dude holy fuck Yo, he was spraying us with a fucking MP7 from that far away. <gasps> yeah, we only had 50 damage absorbed by armor. I think they just got a lot of health, man. The other thing with thermals are is it's kind of hard to tell exactly where you hit, too.
I will gladly buy these that cheap. Gladly. Where is our, uh, who, do we got turn cigarettes into mechanic? Who's asking for cigarettes? listed on the flea and get another kit built out. I hate to say it, but it might be SVD time just because of the ammo issue. His LPS is essentially the same as... Uh, M80 and I can buy lots of it. I don't think these are too expensive to fit out either. Could be wrong. Sanamin, thank you for the 11 months, dude. Nope, wrong one. I think we can get higher by going with Yeah, that's the highest turbo right there. Do I want AXMC? No, I don't want a bolt action. I want semi auto. Um for another one of those I did there's only two barters for these right yep let's see which barter is actually cheapest oh it's gonna make me sign in for zoom yeah but um oh man that is actually cheaper um i want the faster refresh rate for uh uh p, p uh pvp potential pvp look at the flare if we can't get reaps we'll use the flutter but the flare but uh when it comes to pvp the reap is superior especially with semi-auto it just is the way it is Do I have SNB? I 
hate using fucking tracers with uh, a thermal on. I hate it. I died to the hounds last raid. Oh, I had to have a split on splint on me. We definitely need one of those. And I like bringing an extra heal with me just in case. God, I have the wrong screen up too. I don't have your guys's. I don't have both chats up. There we go. Oh, I wonder. Do I have any SVD mags? I do not. Nice, one year. How you doing? Woozy, thanks for the 12 months, dude. Doing good, man. How are you doing? You need to do something. You both need to do something during a little bit more. It doesn't have to be a lot. You need to do something. Did you? Yeah. How much did you read? Like a whole book. <laughs> Don't give me the Valley Girl, like uh, a whole book. You got to be more precise. Was the book like four pages? Yeah. It was a full chapter book. Is mommy okay with me adding more time? I'm going to add 30 minutes and that's it for now until mommy gets home and then we'll decide what, hey, don't run off. I'm still talking. And then we'll decide what you do to earn more time. Okay. Appreciate it, McScruffy, but I feel like I've got to earn my way out of my hole. I don't want to shortchange Irish. Kids in trouble? No, uh, -uh. kids are not in trouble. 
They just ran out of Minecraft time and they wanted more. And we don't just give it for free. And I don't know what they've done to piss off their mother. I'm up here. I'm up in my office, not downstairs with them right now. So if they've done something to piss off their mother, then I'm not going to be the one that gets in trouble because they got more time. Uh, ex uh, exclamation point crafting skills. Uh, one word. Woolsey. Does the event, does it restart on its own? It doesn't. Just in case, chat. Just in case. Be prepared for everything. You got to survive six raids of killing them all. And however many it takes you to get 30 kills, man. <sighs> Daughter was born two days ago. Congrats, ghost. Congrats, my man. I'm glad you're taking some of that no sleep time to come say hi to me. Thanks for doing that hype. alerts in one day uh, I don't oh I gotta make sure I, I keep remember why does it I don't understand why it doesn't save settings from last stream are still active they do not announce wipes TD they haven't announced wipes in three years That's definitely got to be a name from a different language. Thank you for your prime sub. Thank you for your Bezos bucks, nonetheless. YouTube questions are the same as Switch. Yeah. We're hiding the screen for stream snipers. Means chicken thief. <laughs> Wipes are the one thing that make your friend hesitate to jump into EFT. That's the one thing that most everybody looks forward the most to, dude. Everyone except crybaby streamers that are like, I don't want to wipe. I don't want to grind, grind tasks again. I hate playing video games for a living. It's so hard.
I think the biggest problem with woods is the the, gr the degree of where they can they can spawn in so many different places on woods. It's a big map, which is the part that is the bad part about woods. Rip. Ninety nine percent of Tarkov community now now uh, is what. Stream sniper still after you? I don't know. We just won't give him a chance. Oh shit, chat! I forgot to take off. We gotta, we gotta take that piece off. We gotta get as light as possible. I should have brought NVGs. I can't tell where I'm running in the night. Like fucking yeet myself off a cliff right here, like I almost did. Doing a repetitive task eight hours a day does get hard eventually. Tarkov, that's the thing, is Tarkov is only repetitive if you make it repetitive. Well, what do I know? I only say that I en enjoy the game because I get paid to play it, you know, that's the only reason. Where in the fuck am I at? I kind of know where I am. And I can see targets over there, but I can't tell if it's these are fucking boys or if it's... No, that's our boys right there. I don't know what the target is over here that I was seeing though, but I kind of want to bop it just so it's out of the equation. Okay. Yeah, we'll bring MVGs from here on out chat. Just so I can, so you guys have something to see. And so that uh, I can tell where I'm running. Yeah, I know where I'm at now. Like, I know roughly where I'm at on the map, but being precise about, like, when, you, when you're fighting things like the Bloodhounds, you've got to be precise where you approach them from. Certain covers and elevation points and things. Because if you're in the wrong spot, like when we did our first shoreline raid, I ran right out to the worst spot I could possibly be because I was, I thought I was somewhere where I wasn't. Plus, I'm 100% dependent on scanning with a the thermal, which means when I'm running and moving, I can't see... I can't see anything. It'd be nice if we could hear him shoot again. So I know what direction to run. Cause it kind of felt like they were at checkpoint ish based on those shots, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Lightning just struck right outside my house. Holy fuck.
How many do I even have right now, chat? Oh, zero. No shit. Because I died. Feel like I just bopped that? I think it's a scab, though. All right, so where else can they be on woods? What are you... How are we in the same raid, McStruffy? Like, how did that happen, dude? Can they... Sp can they spawn at, uh the rogue base or the the <laughs> fuck dude see that's where mvgs mvgs might have saved me right there i don't know Why is that a cheater? Because I felt like reporting him for the source. I recognize the name, that's why. I've seen that name this weekend pop up on a couple other streamers streams. Maybe he's a lame-ass stream sniper. It's still cheating, right? Hang on a sec, chat. I gotta check my window. It, uh... Here, let me show you guys. It just started fucking coming down like torrential rain here. chat up on here and hang on let me get the right chat up on there copy paste turn that one off we'll make this one bigger Can't really see it because of the white, but how do I sit in front of a window like that? My blinds are usually closed. Can I say why I reported that guy? I did. I've seen his name on a couple other streams. Um, I recognize the name and uh, what he did specifically to me wasn't really all that sus, but I recognize the name.
as a person that is not playing legitimately. And because reporting somebody that you think is cheating is essentially harmless in the aspect that, uh, what was his name? Knees. Knees and toes or something. I don't even remember. They're never adding a kill cam, Alex. Level 17. Seem legit to you. Seems legit to me. You report everybody you die to, then your reports probably get ignored, Noah. Just so you know. BSG filters out people that report everybody they die to. And they almost get no attention because they're, it's the report is worthless. Yeah, that's because you reported because you report everybody, anybody you run into that's cheating that gets reported by others for cheating gets banned. You get the you're just it's just a crossover thing, but your report has probably no weight in catching people. It's literally just a selfish act and you getting the report because you think there's a lot of cheaters. There's going to be a lot more cheaters right now uh, just because of the event. That's just how it is, guys. Like it, don't like it, it doesn't matter. Uh, you have more cheaters when events like this happen. It's just the fucking shitty truth of the thing. That guy being level 17, he's probably just raging. He's going around killing people just to ruin them trying to do this task. It'd be my guess. Because on top of everything else, he the positioning he took on me was absolutely perfect. Where he... Which could be just luck. Which it can't happen like that. It can just be luck when that happens. Bad luck for me, good luck for him. But the fact that I recognized the name is what stood out to me. Well, it's just it's just something to do right now specifically. Um Jesse, people that think about it's this weird fucked up place we live in a society right now where people get their jollies off by um why are all of this in here? Was I putting this in the wrong one? I was. Um people get I don't have the ammo to run this. This is so sad. Do we just run some day raids chat and try to fight it out and make it out alive? And then when we get a higher kill count, we switch to... I think that's what we're going to have to do. Um, so think about all the guys that you've ever known in your life that just troll. They like to do shit to piss people. They get, they get really happy and funny when all they're doing is pissing somebody else off. We've all had them. In fact, I dare I say most of us have been there at some point in our life and have done the same thing. Um, so it's just a degree of what you're doing to, to achieve that goal. Which is why it sucks so much, because anything you do to, like, how, what would you say, counter it, like, try to fight back against it, is just food for them. They just live off of it, so, because they live off the reaction.
why do people care so much if you report a guy well some guy brazen some people brazen they they wholeheartedly want to get better at understanding cheating versus non-cheating they're in that category of player where they're like they're like dude how did that guy know where i was at i don't I, I like i can't imagine everybody in the game is cheating but every death feels like i'm dying to a cheater right tarkov has that effect on new players so a lot of people want to understand why streamers who have tens of thousands of hours why we can go yeah that's cheating oh no that's not cheating oh that it's impossible to say that could be either or oh that that it's i don't know if that was desync or not right and guys that don't have the time it's just hard to uh flesh that out so they ask legitimate a lot of guys ask legitimate questions and for me it's more about um you know helping those people understand so that they can be better at recognizing it so that we get better reports for cheating because there's people that are really good at hiding it um with how they play there's people that's like i think there's i don't know how many times there's been where i'm like i think that guy was cheating but i can't tell because of this factor or that factor if you know what I'm trying to say there. Dana, you're welcome. Oh, I didn't mean to. Why did I do that? I mean, we'll use it, but I'm not crafting those. Son of a bitch. That was a fuck up. The money's in CMS's chat. I, I don't know if you guys have seen the poll over on YouTube I did today. Let's actually take a quick peek at it. See where it's at, because I posted it right before I started the stream. But I think this one's even going to be interesting for me to see where everybody's at. Holy sh chat, look at that. Look at this, guys. Almost 60% of the player base has less than 10 million rubles. I didn't even expect that. Now, part of this chat is so I didn't like go, okay, nobody in nobody in Tarkov knows how to make money. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna make my content around, right? I make my con I made a bunch of different kind of content, and what really started to take off was the economy stuff and explaining people how to make money. We got any shitty comments in here? Keyboard, thanks for the prime, man. Anybody want to bet me 10 bucks 
if we haven't seen it yet, we're going to get somebody that's going to comment. Well, actually, the statistics are varied because your community is going to be already in the direction of not being able to make money because that's what you have. So this poll isn't even worth anything. Fucking $10. There's somebody in here that says that. I'm going to go find it. Cause I, there's probably already one in here. I said eventually somebody was going to do it. Can I, can I, let's have a little conversation here, chat. Let's have a little, let's, let's, here, let's go to story time. We got to go to the right place in the tight out. We're going to have a little story time because I'm going to have a conversation with you guys real quick. All right. All right. Are we set for story time? Is this, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I want to make chat bigger, though, so you guys can actually... Is this a YouTube video? No. Uh. So, I've been streaming for over three years now, right? Seriously streaming for about three. Oh, there's an ad? Of course there's an ad. Hey, YouTube, do you guys have an ad on YouTube? Yeah, see, no ads on YouTube. Amazing how that works with live content, isn't it? Don't worry, chat. We'll wait. Somebody type in that I'm waiting until the ad's over. I can see when the ad's going to go over. Yeah, use your Twitch Prime, no ads. In a serious conversation, though, stupid little kids, um, which is funny that your name is that one. I, I have to I say that like I'm calling you a stupid little kid. <laughs> um, the thing with my my reach and my algorithm, though, especially with my polls, my reach is beyond with my polls is far beyond the typical new player looking to make money. And at five, I mean, we get 15,000 votes sometimes on polls. That's a huge population. The numbers aren't scientific. Like you couldn't put a, st you, you, you could spend a ton of work, um, but. Uh, as far as our community, I, I, the discussion we have around the stats that we get out of the polls um, is meaningful. It's not meaningless, right? You have to take it with a grain of salt, obviously. It's not going to be 100% representative, but it's going to be a very good discussion point to talk around. They are still subscribed. Nope, Marcus. Let me show you something here, dude. I'll show you right now. Something that will probably blow your mind.
got to find the right tab though. You see this right here? This is, I'm on, in the last year of all of my watch time, 30% of it is from people that are subscribed. Oh, you guys can't see. Hang on. Here we go. 30% is subscribed. 71 29%, 71% people are not subscribed that watch my content. Subscriptions only matter a small degree on YouTube anymore. Just, just so you guys know. And the bigger you get, the smaller that number is. Well, yeah, it's it's because my I'm st I'm still pretty small and very niche hype. Sassy, thank you for the prime sub. Drifter, thank you for the ten months. Okay, so here's where we're at, Chad. Here's where I'm feeling right now. That's I feel like I need to move this a little bit. Whatever. Um, for three years now, I've been subbing. Subbing. I've been streaming. Fucking brains crosswired. Um, so, say if you guys have questions, save them. Let me get through my monologue here because I'm fucking. I've got enough ADD problems as it is. Um, I've been streaming for almost three years, and the only game that I've ever really wanted to stream, like it's not like I'm scared to stream elsewhere. Like I don't care. It's. I enjoy streaming Tarkov for two reasons. One, I enjoy the game a lot. And I, one of the biggest joys I get out of my day to day is helping new people in Tarkov so that they can find the same joy that I get out of the game, right? That's really what it's about is getting joy out of the game. And hardy har har, we got the memes of, you know, you know, Tarkov's a kick in the balls and stuff like that. And that stuff aside, I'm not just, I'm not disagreeing. Tarkov's a brutal hard game, but that's what gives me the greatest amount of fun in the game or in the streaming side of things is being able to interact with new players and help them understand the game better um, and, in, and in turn enjoy the game better. You know what I mean? Um, so me streaming other games has always been a, like I just haven't had a draw to do it. It's not like I'm scared to go do it. You guys have seen me. What have we done the last couple of days? Diablo, Star Citizen, fucking Tarkov. I won't stream League. I absolutely will not stream League. I don't know that I'll ever do that. I will get it. I will get fucking banned so fast. League is like Airwing after dark. That's the rated R version of Airwing Marine. This fucking League. But, um... In the last week, guys, I have literally been like... I really want to... There's no way there's a YouTube ad. There's no way there's a YouTube ad. Yeah, and we did Modern Warfare 2 and DMZ and stuff. Um, but in the last two weeks... But you guys skipped it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Twitch, can you guys... Can you guys... You guys can't skip ads on Twitch, right? <laughs> Um, the last week I have been so pulled in many directions I want to play Star Citizen I want to go play Diablo I won't play I'm not going to play Diablo off stream I want to play through the hardcore story with you guys like that's the fun of it playing with you guys Jesus fucking light did you guys see my face flash right there the lightning that just struck outside if like everything powers off chat, it's because of the lightning storm, just so you know. Um, I've got my modem and my streaming PC set up to the, the battery backup, but I don't know how long. Um, so like right now I'm having, like we just died to a cheater, right? We, we probably just died to a cheater. I feel like. Um, And it doesn't phase me that much. We'll get back in and do another raid. I'm having fun playing Tarkov. This is kind of fun Tarkov for me. I like this kind of stuff at the end of the wipe. 
um, plus making money and kind of struggling a little bit because we deleted our stash, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but I want to go play Diablo. I want to go play Star Citizen. Uh, Battle Bit. We're going to play Battle Bit this week. I played that over the weekend off stream. I played with Clean and Devil Dog and a couple of those guys, Dottie Hack. Don't ask me how I got invited to that crew of guys, but I got invited to play with them for a couple hours. And that game's a lot of fun. Battle Bit is a lot of fun. Um, and I think it'll be a good side game to play. Like, it's not one I really want to main. Starfield? Yeah, but isn't Starfield, like, September? So, yeah, and like, how do you guys feel about it? I mean, I, I, most of you guys are here for the Tarkov content. It's plain as day because when um, we stream, obviously the numbers go down. That's just a product. It is what it is. And I don't, I don't really worry about the numbers too much. Um, the YouTube content's the scary part is how do we do YouTube content? Because I live off the YouTube content as far as a content creator. And I don't not and that's rhetorical that not in the money sense, but is in the 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 drive and the attraction to the game is the YouTube content. That's where it creates that's where a lot of the interest in Tarkov comes for me is like when we saw like when we as a like as a community, we solved the the problem with the air filter thing when people have been circle jerking for two years about it. Right. And we in one quick little half hour stream, we solved we figured out exactly what was going on. So that's kind of where I'm at right now, guys, because we're going to be doing more other games, um, just so you guys are aware. And I don't know if we're going to like, I don't like starting a stream and jumping to another game because I kind of feel like that's a little disingenuous in a way. But at the same time, it's also like, who cares? Like if somebody doesn't want to hang out, then they don't hang out. If they're lurking, who cares if they're looking for a different game? But um, I think one thing that... Um, we're going to do is probably try to get into a more scheduled basis for it, like specific days and, and plan it out so that you guys know what I'm playing when and it's not just a, gee, I wonder what everything's playing today. Now, as far as six days in Fallujah, we'll probably play that too, boring slippy. We'll, we'll get into playing with devil dog a lot more in a lot of games like that. I think, um, we'll see his stream time is a lot different than mine, but, um, so I saw some other questions in there. Somebody was asking about streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So I probably shouldn't do this. I probably shouldn't talk about it on stream because then there's a record of it, obviously. You know, just it's it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission kind of deal. But it's kind of hard to ask for forgiveness when you're on record saying that, you know, you're doing it. Um, Twitch's terms of service right now state that you can't um, simul simulcast, I think is the word they use. I'd have to go back and look at the exact term. Basically, you can't multi-stream. You're not allowed to live stream content on, on Twitch and other platforms at the same time. Um, and there's two things with that. One, for me to hold up my end of the bargain with Twitch as a partner, quote unquote partner, as you will, um, Twitch has to do things that reciprocate, right? And Twitch is doing the opposite right now. And in two ways. The way that everybody talks about the most as far as splits and ad revenue and all that other bullshit, whatever. That's kind of there, but that doesn't really affect me that much. The thing that really pisses me off about Twitch is how much, and you guys have had it happen to you guys three times now, is how much Twitch is fucking the viewer experience. I watch Twitch too, guys. I watch people on Twitch. I watch other streamers. I hang out on other people's streams. I understand it. And Twitch is getting worse and worse and more miserable for a viewing experience every month. And that affects me because you guys are the viewers. I'm the streamer. And so in my mind, this isn't a legal argument at all. If Twitch isn't going to hold up its end of the bargain, why should I be stressed to hold up mine? The little purple check's cool, but quite literally, the only thing the purple check gets me now 
that other people don't have is the ability to squad stream. And really, what is that? Who fucking cares, right? That's a nifty little tool, but it's not a game breaker. So the reason for me streaming on YouTube for you guys is because it gives you guys a choice to pick somewhere else to watch that has a different experience. And the only reason right now that I'm not streaming on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Rumble, and even Kick like I would have all of those streams up right now if my bandwidth allowed for it. The only reason I'm not doing it is my bandwidth doesn't apply, doesn't apply. We are right at the peak of what my internet connection can handle just doing YouTube and Twitch. What's my thoughts on kick? Uh, I think it's gonna go the same way as Mixer eventually. Live streaming is not a profitable endeavor. You can't make money doing it. Um, the biggest and best minds in the industry have been trying to solve it for 10 years. And if there's one indicator that shows you how unimportant live streaming is in, in a business sense, look at how YouTube, they haven't back shelved it, but they're, they add features when they can, but they're not trying. If YouTube wanted to unseat Twitch, they could do it in a month. Literally a month, YouTube could sign a bunch of bunch of streamers. They could add a couple of pro a couple of, of 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 easy tools that they could pay an intern to add to YouTube, and then a couple of uh, tools and features and some stuff like that. YouTube could knock Twitch off in a month, and I mean completely. I completely believe that. No, Fagan, YouTube doesn't care about discovery for view. YouTube has the best discovery for viewers. YouTube doesn't want to serve live content the same way Twitch does. Twitch is struggling right now because they cannot monetize live content and that's all they have. How is it not profitable? How much do you guys enjoy having a fucking ad interrupt your live content? How enjoyable is that? We're gonna do a little Socratic method right here. Okay, so when you look at other live content, right? Other live, like let's look at television. For those of you that do television, let's look at that. How does television live, live work around ads? Um, Get your sister, she knows how to open it. Don't break it. Oh, kids, they literally stop the live content for ads. You look at the NFL, NBA, anything they do, the live content stops for the commercials, right? You can't do that as, I mean, we can kind of do that as a streamer with Tarkov, right? We can run ads between raids. So the best you can do is not interrupt live content. So you put little banner ads down. Maybe you put an ad in the top right corner, right? The problem is those ads are worthless. They don't convert. They are worthless to advertisers. And not like $0 worthless, but pennies. So advertisers will pay for it, but they're gonna pay pennies for it, which means ad Twitch doesn't make revenue off of those really, right? That's the problem with putting live content monetized. YouTube has an entire machine on on-demand content that it generates money. Live content is kind of like shorts. Shorts don't make money for them either. Shorts content, the ads on shorts content is complete fucking shit. But it's another, there's, there's non-monetary value to having these programs because it brings content creators over, right? That's why they signed Dr. Lupo. Because he's a brand friendly streamer that has his content on YouTube. But YouTube isn't spending any time or effort to monetize streams to a great deal, and nor should they. Please explain the Bloodhounds, exclamation point tit does it for you, Manchu.
Yo, chat. There is so much right now. Hang on a sec, guys. What the hell? What's up, honey? Hey, YouTube, guys, hang on a sec. There is a lot of your guys' chats that are not coming through. What is happening? YouTube chat is rolling right now, but I just, so I just opened up my YouTube chat. And there's a lot of your guys' chats that are not coming through. So if I've been missing your guys' chats. Hang on just a sec, chat. <laughs> I know what it is. You know how Chrome has that new setup where um, if you have a window... <sighs> God, I'm so... Should be fine now, chat. Am I going to move to kick? No. No, kick... We talked about kick. I think kick is a dead end. Um, the only thing that's keeping kick afloat right now is gambling revenue. No, no, no. Is there any water coming in? Kick is going to be here for a long time. Kick will be here for as long as the... No, don't close it all the way, Lucy. I need air in here. Thank you, honey. Um... Can you just set like a hand towel right there where it's open? Thank you. Um, how's blood hot hunting going? We we got to six or seven and died. So here's the thing, guys. You, a lot of you guys might not, might not realize this about kick. Is that... Um, I'm not missing any Twitch chats now, am I? I'm kind of paranoid that... Can you guys watch on Twitch and make sure that like I'm not missing any of your guys' chats? You guys, I mean, you should be able to see them pop up on the little window here, so... Whoops. Um... Crispy, thanks for the 100 biddies, dude. What's up, Ewing, my brother? How are you today? So here's the thing with Kick, guys. Kick is literally running on Twitch's back end. Amazon, when they bought Twitch, they didn't buy it for they didn't buy Twitch because they wanted Twitch. They bought Twitch because they wanted the tech. And they sell that tech. It's part of it's part of their AWS systems, right? It's part of all their network stuff. They sell the stuff. You can literally go on Twitch and start a, a streaming platform off of Twitch's back end. Same back end, right? It's not the same as in like you sharing the same servers, but structurally it's the same. So the problem is, is that's really expensive and Twitch does it cheaper than Kick. So right now, because Kick is small, it's not a huge problem. But if Kick ever does get big, the cost just gets to be where it's ridiculous. Am I ever thinking of trying Armor 3? Not really, not right now. It doesn't like... Maybe like if we had a, I had a bunch of buddies that got into it or something, but yeah. And I think that's another potential weakness of kick is if their revenue stream, which is crypto gambling, essentially, um, if that is hit by some kind of legislation, which it could be at any point, um, I'm not saying it's going to, or I know that it's going to, it's just, it's a possibility. Like does kick stay around after that? You think it's an emergent business? Five, 10 years would be really profitable? Chess up. Twitch has been around for how many years? And YouTube can't make it profitable. YouTube. YouTube can't make it profitable. And you think a bunch of guys 
making kick are gonna figure it out i don't and that's not like to insult them like i don't think they're idiots i just think it's a dilemma it's a nearly insolvable problem YouTube is not becoming profitable on streaming. YouTube is incredibly profitable because of its ad service based off of Google that it sells ads on, on its long form content. Yeah, it's the streaming, the chess up what I'm talking about is streaming is the problem. Streaming is the, the hurdle that most places can't get over. How do you have so much stuff crafting at once? Uh, exclamation point crafting skills will bring up. Um... The video, my videos. I thought I had a helmet sitting around here somewhere, but I guess not. So right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep doing our thing. We'll stream on YouTube to give view viewers a good experience um, with the full expectation that Twitch is only going to get worse as time goes on. Um, and that way, if something ever happens and we get yeeted off of Twitch partner program. Yeah, the kill count resets if you die. which indeed does suck. Compact site for the Trigicon isn't available anymore. Um, whoops. How much do these cost right now? Oh. Well, even at 20k, these are still worthwhile. Holy smokes. Yeah, you can still die and continue the cat task. You just lose, uh, um, lose your progress. Like I was in the super grindy mood when we got on. I was going to be like, yeah, let's get the fucking bloodhounds killed. But then I died and then it was like, okay, well, maybe this isn't going to be something that we're going to do today or maybe even ever. I know there's a ton of streamers that have tried pretty hard to do it and they die and they get close and die and they're just like, Nope. Nope. I'm done.
Oof, we gotta buy a new one. 20k in. Couple of click and drags. And we sell this. So what was that? 11k, 10, 11k to fucking get a brand new M4. Is how she works. No 995. Yeah, we'll just run 855 for right now. 995 might be a good idea. Um, the uh, the biggest thing with 995 is uh, like I'm it, I'm more worried about PMCs than I am the Bloodhounds, to be honest with you. And 855 just tends to be better for PMCs. You're 68, hard of hearing, new to gaming, but I'm trying to die a lot. We all die a lot, Steven. My first wipe, my survival rate was under 20%. I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was like 16 or 17 or 18. But my first wipe, my survival rate was way low. So I died a lot too. Tarkov is more about knowledge than anything. Knowledge is the power. Diablo trigger, or diabolic trigger. Thank you for the tier one, man. Brand new tier one, much appreciated. Welcome. Smiths, I missed your, uh, how did I miss this? Did that not come through? Smiths, thank you for your eight months of prime, man. I've got to work on these systems, chat. I got to make sure that we're not missing stuff. See, like right now, the chat, this whole, this integrated chat system is pulling from Twitch and I don't know where it's pulling from. <laughs> but it's working, so I don't want to... Fuck with it. Okay. Was watching ads. Hey, hope. Hope things are good. Have a question. Maybe you can answer. Sometimes I get really strong fatigue raid, which lasts 3,000, 4,000 seconds and it gives me... There's a bug, Mind Trainer. I haven't been able to duplicate it. A lot of people have gotten it. Nobody's quite sure what it's about. I think BSG has um, acknowledged it, but it's a bug. 
but I have no idea how to replicate it. My former military, I did serve in the Marine Corps, yes. Would you prefer to I did I just answered it, Flero. I did yes, I you, you weren't the only one that asked it, somebody else asked it too. You guys okay with chat being up on the screen or would you guys prefer me to take chat off the screen? Maybe we run a poll. I know we can run a poll on Twitch. How do we run a poll on YouTube, though? Well, that's them. Can I get over this without dying though? Probably not. We should probably go through shortcut, huh? <clears throat> yeah, if hounds have their own... Hounds have their own voice lines now. Or now, they've always did, I guess, but... sure nobody knows we're in here oh, i have no idea how to push this chat i kind of feel like we just die <laughs> here we have the airwing marine he can usually be found somewhere in tarkov clapping the lesser spotted to me and when the chance arises the irritating biggest chatters jesus See, that's where the grizzly came in nice chat. Not only did I heal my fucking arm, but I fixed a bleed and a break all in one fucking. Try to finish it on shoreline. Yeah, I just it's, I'm not worried about trying to finish it, man. We're starting over. It's kind of like, let's have some fun, right? are they at?
ебнули нашего! Still one more out there. He's on the other side. He sounds like he's on the other side of the wall. There's no way that we don't have players around us, though. I forgot to restart the fucking task. They have such fucking cool guns. Well, those are the same size. Oh, that's some fucking M61 in there, huh? Boy, I'm glad he didn't fucking shoot at me. Why is my stream so pixelated? 
Probably on your end, unless somebody else is noticing it. Make sure the audio is not set to a lower quality or something. Trying to figure out how we get out of here. I'm not going to go loot that first one. I didn't kill that scab right there. Fuck you, scab. I can't believe we're running any players. Famous last words, right? Both streams look like doo doo. Almost one year. That man whiffed. I don't know if whiffed is the right term. Um, Cause he hit me a fuckload. Ulock saving lives. I don't believe for a second that he's fucking by himself either. I don't know how to get out of here. Why was he wasn't my armor would not be zero if he was leg meting. Why was he sitting there? What information do I need? I need to glean some. He was sitting there for a reason. Why?
If we get another fight, we're just dead. Sounds like there might be one more bloodhound back there, huh? Yeah, I probably should put that armor ch on chat, but we're just going to get the fuck out of here. I feel like I'm in a pretty good place on the rotation right now. And we'll just hope that uh, we don't run into any player scavs and our uh, extract over here is open. That was kind of high level too. Seven six two by thirty nine PS is what he shot us with, chat. So he wasn't shooting shitty ammo. He just had a thirty rounder and ran out before I fucking killed him. My armor probably ate four rounds, though. I, if I had to guess, I'd say my armor ate four rounds. Three at least.
will do. I will restart. Very good, yes. Stop to see what ammo this guy had. SPP. I would have sucked. M61 though, that's kind of nice. And an RSAS, of course, also also nice. Yo, I've been putting ammo in the wrong damn spot this whole time. Sucks that you can't sell SPP. I wish you could sell SPP on the flea market. I'll, I'll restart the tab. You guys have said it like four times. I'll go restart it now before I forget. five for the fucking save though that's for sure yeah we'll bring a cms i'm probably actually gonna bring a serve kit to be honest with you guys um oh i can't fit a serve kit in here i feel like i should bring two cms's to be honest with you, because I don't know if I, like, I'm worried about getting into a fight and, um, not having enough to finish it. these these should be worth some money i know they got cheaper because of the event but people still like to use them i think they're trash but that's just me
so hard to kill anything with them. You don't need splints if you're using a grizzly. Uh, true. Good call. Good call. I didn't even know that was in there. See, this is the problem with my... Oh, God damn it. I forgot to take that one out. Uh, with my little secure container is that uh, I... Uh, always forget shit. Why no gamma? Uh, I reset my, I, I had a pretty generous dono come in and it was to reset my, or not reset my account, but delete everything. Um, so I obliged, deleted everything. Kind of back. Um, I have um, all my graphics cards back because we deleted all of those. nice some money yeah we restart i restarted the task already guys got it how do you hunt bloodhouts when the task fails when you queue up for a match that's a bug john it 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 doesn't actually it still progresses even when it does that but when you die it resets so Damn, that's barely worth doing it. Price. Oh, hell no, we need someone. I was like, why won't that sell? Because it's got stuff in it. Actually, we'll just run that backpack. Um, I should sell it. We'll strip this down because I'm not going to run it like this. That's for sure. Vendor those. laser on here so let's take that off can i do this now like i want to i can is there anything i learned in the military that i apply to video games yeah there's some but it's not anything that you don't learn just playing video games anyways guys Wait, what? All my dailies failed? Oh. I logged on yesterday around this time? I don't remember getting on yesterday. Oh, yeah, I was on fucking planning on working on video. That's right. Hmm. 
Well, that makes up for it. We failed, but we got we got one done, which makes me feel better. Oh, we got the battery one done too. Scavs from more than 20 meters? No thanks. I wanna go to interchange today. What's our what's our scav task? I gotta get three assault rifles in a raid. That's actually kind of tough to do. Eliminate PMCs with M67s. Yo, Jaeger, you're Fuck you, dude. He probably hears that a lot. You can <laughs> what you're hearing is you can be an unstoppable killing machine. No, so what it what it turns out is is there's like principles like cover and move um uh concealment versus cover uh god anybody else that can help me out with this stuff that applies but it's just stuff you when you play video games especially if you play a lot you just kind of inherently pick up on it's nothing like groundbreaking like there's a lot of stuff from sniping that applies but again if you're good at it you're just good at it. It's not because you played Tarkov, because you played video games and you just kind of figured out what doesn't work and what does. You're good, Flaro. Flanking. Patience isn't really a thing you learn in the military. It's just a thing I learned mostly in Tarkov, even. I mean, I was a Call of Duty bro for my, almost my whole life, man. Tarkov is the first, like, mil sim style hardcore shooter I've ever played. I think it's a little bit of both bailout. I think that there could, I think what, in my opinion, what I think should be the case is that it should be like maybe 20 or no, you know what? No, no, no. Keep it at 30 or fuck. Make it even 40, 40 bloodhound kills, but you can die. Right. But you own the BP costs 2000 around and you can only buy 60 of it because it's on Jaeger. That's the other problem, guys, is the Jaeger buy. He resets every hour, dude. That is so much that you can buy. Are the Bloodhounds just USEC Raiders with different names or are their cosmetic loadouts different? They are very similar to Raiders, but they have different clothing. They can look like scavs, like they can have scav gear. I've killed a couple of them. Like we killed one that had like a motorbike jacket on. Um. And they have different voice lines. They have their own voice lines now. People say it's a sign of being close to wipe. No. You know how few people are going to get that task unlocked? And kind of memeing, kind of not. Half the people that are going to unlock the task are cheaters that are going to get banned anyways. So... Holy fuck, bastions are expensive. With so much BP going around, it's pointless to wear armor. Dude, nobody has the task complete. I don't know why you guys are... Like, everybody's worried about the BP, and I kind of get it, but you shouldn't be. There, it's So few people are... Landmark is having a hard time getting the task done, guys. There's going to be a very small percentage of players that get the task done. Very small. No, no, please stop wearing armor. <laughs> I mean, you guys saw what just happened to me. I got sprayed down by that guy on customs who had the drop on me, and we still beat him because I had good armor on. And Baggerly is a lower tier class five, in my opinion. I found seven and 40 on a regular scav, Tyler, in, a, in his... In his uh, um tyler nominee i found it in, a, in his he had a aks 74u with 10 rounders and all four of his 10 rounders had 7 and 40 in it i was like what the fuck didn't expect that
Yeah, he was dead and looted. I was a, I was a, I was running a player scav. I just came across a scav and he had a rig I needed, so I was like, oh, all right, I'll just get my rig off of him. And I just happened to check the ammo because it's a habit of mine. I check ammo all the time because, and that's why, dude, because you can end up with so much stuff like that that people just overlook. Rudy Tabuti, I missed your sub. Thank you, man. Morny, thank you for the 23, I don't know, 10 months. That was 23 minutes ago. Lonely Passenger, thank you for the new membership. Hey, that's cool. That worked. I'm, thank you for test. I know you didn't do it to test it, Lonely, but I'm glad it worked. I, I had to make sure that we turned all the alerts on today, so I wasn't sure if everything was working right, but it looks like it is. So. Yay. All right, I think we just render the... Ooh, that one's actually selling for a lot. So was that one. Never mind, I guess we don't render those. Do I get everything running in my hideout? No, I do not. What should, we, what should I be crafting? We're out of aramids, so I guess we do these. People aren't looting the bloodhounds. Yeah, a lot of people are just killing them and running, man, because they don't want to risk getting shot. They're trying to get the task done, which means no looty. Like me looting them has been kind of stupid, but I'm fucking a loot goblin. I like to loot. What can I say? It's not selling. I need to, I need more room. Well, those certainly crashed in price. Damn it, dude. I hate when that happens. Imagine looting a looter shooter. Well, bigger than that, the... We're just going to pull those off. I thought those were going to sell quicker than they did. Why is this not selling? Because I overpriced it. Um, I can't imagine that doesn't sell, though. I think one of the good things about the event, though, is it... So what makes games better is having choices you have to make. You ha you're forced into choices instead of just running the same thing over and over again. And right now, players are being forced to choose between looting and not. And I think that's a cool dynamic that a lot of people might hate, but I just think they don't understand... I think a big problem, guys, and you guys can completely disagree with me on it. It's fine. A lot of problem is, is a lot of people have no idea what they actually enjoy in games. And they think that, uh... They think easier is more fun, and it's not. It's not how it works at all. All right, I'll be right back, chat. I gotta go to the bathroom.
All right, we are back. Okay. Flight East 07, you're clear for landing. Runway 7, Bravo. Single bullet. Thanks for the raid, man. How's your stream? Blood in, blood out. Blood for the blood gods. <laughs> Just making sure the stream snipers don't get us chat. Sorry, I have to do this. I know it sucks. Um, I'm working on a different screen, something that's more, what would you say, engaging? Um, that can be sitting up uh, during this period of time. But it's gonna be a bit before we we get it, unfortunately. I don't want somebody ruining the fun so we'll do this for now something up though if i'm 
can we look at? Anything you guys got questions you want me to look at? Brute, you're welcome, dude. We need the logo lore. I just paid a guy, I think it was on Fiverr, three years ago. I said, hey, I need a logo. Here's my gamer tag. I want it to be around C-130s. I gave him a couple of images and he came up with it. Like the fact that a Fiverr artist came up with it is pretty top notch. It's been pretty much downhill from there for my experience on Fiverr though. We can't do it, Brute. Uh, I'm not allowed to show firearms on YouTube. And I will work on figuring out, I'm almost positive that there is a way for me to, uh, like I, we can pull it up on Twitch and then have a different scene on, on YouTube that doesn't, um, um, that I can basically hide What's going on? You know what I mean? Because Landmark doesn't do it on YouTube, Ollie. Landmark streams on Twitch. No, no, no. Stream, guys. Stream. Live stuff. Live stuff. Live stuff. You can't have... You can't be streaming and be handling firearms. They can be behind you. Like, I can do... Like I can do this and show you, like I can show you the, the weapons, but I can't touch them. That's YouTube's rules. I can't touch my peanut butter and jelly though that my wife made for me like two hours ago and I still haven't eaten. It's like that DC greens because of, uh, Oh, Flero, just ignore that, dude. I'll make sure to turn that off. Caps and Tarkov is a... Th I don't know why it's doing that. I'll have to make sure and look into that. It's like that. GC Greens is because of the Christchurch shooting that happened in New Zealand a couple of years ago. That's when Facebook and YouTube nixed it because it's a, a legal thing for them. Is air wing a rank or a classification? Neither, it's generally a derogatory term used by grunts to talk about people that are in the air wing. The air wing is anybody who works in aviation in the Marine Corps. They call them air wingers, stuff like that. Well, we've killed about 15 of them, John, but the problem is uh, we've died. So we are at currently at zero.
There's a very small chance that that man died behind a tree, but I don't think he did. And now I lost him. Oh my god, I'm stuck in bushes. Oh, fuck. That man is an insanely disciplined individual because he took two shots and has not run since he took those two shots. I get the feeling that that man's just gonna hang out over there. It looked like he threw his gun out, thrown his gun out already. All right, we're gonna. I don't know what to hold on that at that distance. We're not gonna do that again. We did hear them shoot over here, though. This direction. So they're either here. I thought they were spying, but I guess that means they're at power.
that man was geared. He's got the same fucking goggles on I do. At least it looked like it. I haven't killed any bloodhounds yet. That's a bus. Looks like he killed a couple of them already, I'm guessing. He killed them and was just hanging out, is what it looks like to me. Because that was one of them right there. One, two, three, four... There's one more sitting around, potentially. Yeah, five is the max. I guess four can spawn um, sometimes. I'm not entirely sure how that works. If it's four spawn for sure or just somebody missed one. That's not a blood. This isn't the bloodhound. I don't think. Which makes me wonder if there's any down on the beach somewhere or whatever the fuck we just saw right there. Somebody has killed them and looted them already, which is extremely bothersome.
Because old boy wasn't set up there like he had looted. He was up there overwatching. Where is the one that I killed at? I saw three bodies down here. Where the fuck? Thought I saw three bodies down here. Did I not see three bodies down here? One, two, three. Uh, we've reset a couple of times now, Wild Men. We're, at one, we're only at one. We just got this one here. Killed that PMC up there, though, but... Man, chat, that is... I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of scary. Like, did this guy kill a couple of them? so confused as how some of these got looted.
Did we get killed trying to find our PMC or looting our PMC up here is my is the big question I have. Because he didn't have a backpack on either. What do you think his backpack's at? And gone are the days of when you could find your, um, you could find gear with thermals, unfortunately. Because I'm guessing this is the guy that killed him. It kind of has to be with the geary. You'd think his backpack was right here somewhere, wouldn't you? Kind of open. Maybe it'll stand out in the flare a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's going to. I don't think we're going to find it, chat. That's the annoying part is he's probably got a ton of loot on him. Somebody looted the rogues already, or the bloodhounds already. Well, that's a th that's the thing, guys. Is he's got he he's the bloodhounds. Two of the bloodhounds were looted already. I was like, ooh, we found something, but it's just a fucking barrel. I think 
we just reset. You still think he has a buddy who was looting him and you interrupted him? Yeah, but where did his buddy go? And why would his buddy just let me loot him? And how did they loot without killing all of them? Because one of them was still alive right there. Like, maybe his buddy is one of those thermals at the gas station. And, uh, his buddy died. And he was just waiting to see if any other players showed up. Don't know. That was a scav. I heard the scav jibber jabber. The guy at the, the pier was a scav. Or this thick th thermal we saw. Because the big question is, is how did he get in there and loot those, those two bloodhounds when there was still one alive? I think it's pre-wipe? No. Uh -uh. Player scav? No, there's no way it was a player scav already. It was pretty early in the raid still. Could want to spawn late? I, I guess. Not really sure, to be honest with you. I mean, his backpack's sitting around there somewhere. It has to be. He had a found in a, a found in raid grenade on him, which could have come from all sorts of different places, but I have to believe it came from one of the bloodhounds. I think he killed them. He got scared off by another bloodhound when he was looting, um, and his backpack is just somewhere we couldn't find. The one with the Zuck and the Og scope was me. I killed that one. That was the Bloodhound that was left. As far as PMC karma, like, what do you guys want me to have a thought on it about? We don't know anything about it. We don't know how it's going to function. We don't know how the base level of the game, it's going to play into it. We don't know any of that information. So making any assessments on, um, on that is impossible. You think Nice Guy ripped it up and down? I watched Nice Guy's video about it. It was a clickbait video. He didn't have any new news in there about it. Um, it's all stuff that we've known for a while. I think one thing you guys all need to be cautious of, and everybody needs to be cautious of, is if you're took talking about game mechanics in the current way we play Tarkov, this is not Tarkov 1.0. This isn't Tarkov 1.0, guys. This is a sandbox. The, the, the game loop here is an accident. You should be able... I mean, it, the little symbol tells you who's who. Vigilant. YouTuber Twitch. What do you mean game loop? This hide, this loot shoot where we run in and make money and fight for PvP and and do tasks to unlock better gear so that we can fight better. That is that is an accidental game loop. That is not a game. This is not a game. We're not playing Tarkov right now. We are playing a sandbox to test mechanics. What's up, Tower? 
So the bloodhounds are the guards of the arena tower. And based on the vision, the last R Chronicles of Rigi, uh, Rigi escaped from the arena and the bloodhounds are hunting him. So Jaeger wants us to hunt them. My last hit's really short. It's like five minute video if you want to watch the last one. Explains it all. Any indication on when the actual game... You didn't know that, Cole? God, I should do a video about that, man. I really should do a video about that. No, we have no idea when 1.0... It, it's called... It, it's referred to as 1.0 or as release. And there's a lot of people that meme about it and say it's never going to happen and blah, 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 blah. It's kind of like Star Citizen, right? There's a lot of parallels between Star Citizen and Tarkov. But if I had to say, based on BSG's desires and the way they're actually cutting out content right now uh Time to get out one point it's good to go 1.0 will probably come sometime in the next 12 to 24 months if i had to guess this isn't even a beta colt i wouldn't even call it a beta man they call it a beta but we are not playing um oh is this guy i wonder if that guy was streaming we can We can get a better idea of what happened if he was. Assuming he's got VODs turned on, he might not. Really? He's not even a real streamer. Well, not just that, Dalzy. BSG bit off more than they can chew. Big time, they bit off way more than they can chew. And Nikita is, in his own ways, kind of admitted to that. That when Tarkov blew up, their ideas got way out of hand, and they didn't under they didn't have a firm grasp on how much dealing with the cheating issue um, was going to slow their progress. made friends with a guy who builds barrels and rigs for ultimate class precision shooting holy fuck dude that's a hell of a contact to meet up with do i have any guess towards the gameplay loop of 1.0 i feel like the raid timer system would have to be partially removed the raid timer system was never even supposed to be in the game bsg added it because they needed a system to get players in and out of the game and my source for that is nikita nikita said that on a podcast about Ooh man it might have been two years ago i don't even remember it was more than more than two years ago two years or more than two years ago um, the raid timer is not part of the does, the intended game loop. Now, what the game is going to be, it's fucking near impossible to say, guys, because 
um, I think the I think the vision has changed substantially for BSG since they started. Um, oof, we poked a hole right through that guy's helmet. Right through. Um. Arena is going to, in my opinion, what's going to happen is Arena is going to take the place of the current kind of game loop we have of PvP where people love to PvP. Arena is going to replace that. And Tarkov is going to go more survival orientated. Which I think is great for the game. And that's why I say, like, how is PMC... How, what do I think about PMC karma? I don't fucking know, dude. Because I don't know how it's... How, how is it going to... What is the game loop that it's even going to be part of? We don't know. So having an opinion on it just as clickbait. To be honest with you. We have gotten almost no indication of how... any of that's going to work. This green armor is a Zuck. It's one of the rarest armors in the game, which is why I took it. It doesn't repair very well. Like, we'll repair it with a uh, mechanic to get the most out of it, but it's class six. It covers your chest and your stomach, and it's pretty light. And it's got s fucking 75 starting durability. Will BSG say when wipe is before it happens? We'll get hints, Vizenix, about wipe, but we won't receive, unless they change the way they do it, which they could always do that, we will not receive any kind of indication on wipe um, other than maybe pat. we get patch notes the night before that says it's wipe. No, the this is even more rare than the hex grid. This is even more rare than the hex grid, and it's better. Aside from the repairability, I would argue this is better than the hex grid. Um, there's some personal preference there, obviously, because the ceramic versus uh, uh, HDPE or whatever high density poly it's HDP, right? Is it high density polyethylene? High molecular weight polyethylene. The polyethylene, we'll just say polyethylene. Um, Well, those have gotten cheap, certainly. Not just that, hex grids spawn have higher, they, they spawn on more places, I believe. Could be wrong, but I've seen, I see hex grids every wipe. I've gone entire wipes and never seen one of these. Nikita has flat out said multiple times that Tarkov will never use microtransactions to a degree at its own detriment, I would say. Because there are some microtransactions that could be done that the community would be okay with. Um, but it's a commitment he made. 
and I see him full-heartedly sticking with it. No, he didn't. He didn't go as far as saying he thinks they're scummy and he thinks they're going to ruin the gaming industry. I think a, a, a lot of things that people don't understand. Again, I, I keep saying this over and over. I sound like a broken record. But what a lot of people don't get about BSG, BSG is a bunch of dudes who love video games that decided to go make a video game. Which is why we have a lot of the problems we have is because they got, honestly, when they got started, they didn't have a fucking clue what they were doing. Yeah, and they also love guns. Exactly. Yeah. They're gun nuts, which is one of the biggest things that drew me to the game, to be honest with you. Nikita's always the, the short film thing is Nikita's deal prospect. He's always wanted to be in filmmaking, like that. Uh, I, he who did he? What podcast did he do that with? I can't remember if it was with Pestily or somebody, but they talked about the raid series, and Nikita was talking about how he's always wanted to be in filmmaking and creating, and always made it be video games. And he had to make a choice, and he went video games, and it just so happened that the video games allowed him to do that raid series short story. What is a microtransaction? Whenever you go and buy anything on a game, like a skin, um, anything like that's considered a microtransaction. Anything that happens after you buy the game or if it's a free to play after you start playing it. Video games have done more for the gun community than fucking the NRA has done. And if you look at the, like the last 10, 15 years, video games are more, have brought more people to the pro 2A side um, in the United States than the NRA, probably, I don't know if the NRA, than, than the NRA ever has. The NRA doesn't convince a lot of people. It doesn't change a lot of people's minds. Guns introduce and, tr and train people about them before they can get bad um, bad early perceptions about firearms and that's not what the NRA is about um, it's not its main goal Brandon but it's definitely one of his peripherals for sure. The NRA was about training people, teaching people gun safety. So the NRA was originally about. And part of that process, that doing that is what is exposing people to firearms. And in that roundabout way, that's how I consider it part of, it should be part of the NRA's job in this modern environment we live in in the United States. Especially with as fucking much money as they collect. The NRA collects a lot of money and doesn't do fuck all with it. Like the only time I've seen the NRA's name come up recently in lawsuits and stuff was the lawsuit that they just, they just tied on to one of the pistol brace lawsuits. Um, asking for the judge to include them in a lawsuit that was already done, which that's cool and all that's great because it means a bunch of NRA members will be um, hopefully be uh, saved from the big bad fucking ATF as well. But why the fuck did they, why is the um, NRA waiting till now to do it? It's like, fuck you guys. Yeah, FPC has definitely been up there, man. And uh, 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 what's the other one? The other lawsuit, the other outfit that's doing the lawsuit. It's the one that they're actually, the NRA is trying to adjoin to. I forget the name of the outfit. Uh, that's the other one. I can't remember. SBA or something like that. I can't remember. I'm just shouting out random letters. GOA, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Real Deal. Even California, and the biggest issue I see is just a lack of knowledge. People don't even know the process of buying a gun. They think it's so quick and easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, I don't think there's anybody out there in the gun community who's even somewhat smart that disagrees with you, Max. 
um ignorance is the biggest thing the biggest the biggest enemy of um the second amendment is ignorance that's why the anti 2a people see to it to make sure that people stay ignorant about it Is there any gun in particular you'd like to see in Tarkov? Um, we, we've got them, Tyler. I was kind of excited for the scar, which sucks because the scar just sits so big in your screen. I don't like using the scar because it, it, it's just so big on your screen. It eats up so much screen space. Um, the AXMC filled kind of any desire I had for other weapons, man. Like, I don't need Tarkov to put in guns that I have. Like, I don't need him to put in a 300 Win Mag or some other stuff. A spaz, 12, a spaz 12 would be kind of fucking cool. Not going to lie. I would I would be happy with a Spaz 12. Any tips for getting stray dogs done? Do it at night. Um, do it at night. Uh, shoreline, probably. Yo, how is Tarkov treating you today? Petrio Gamer. It's been two months, man. Tarkov's going fine, bud. Thanks for asking. No, it makes sense, Louis, Louis Phoenix. Um, for a long time in the United States, almost every high school had a firearm safety class program of some sorts. That's what the NRA was a big part of. But because of cultural changes and things, they have been like, if you try to eat, if you, I guarantee if I walked into my school board here, even in Montana and was like, Hey, I want a class available in high school for every, and I probably will do this once my kids get to high school, there should be an elective that is firearm safety. You don't have to take it. So all the liberal dipshit parents that are like, my guns are evil. They're so evil. I can't have my children exposed to the guns because they're so scary. Meanwhile, they'll let them play Call of Duty and scream fucking racial slurs all day wrong. But that's neither here nor there. Um, the uh, There's not even an option. Like you can't go take a class in high school. And that's a problem. But the reason that's the case is because the people that are anti-Second Amendment, the people that are anti-gun, they don't want people to be educated. They want them to be ignorant about them because it makes it easier for them to ban them. The ends justify the means. They all operate in that sphere. Am I an ex-Marine? Mm, I'm not dead and I'm not in Leavenworth, so no, I am not an ex-Marine. I am still a Marine, I'm just not on active duty. Young people can actually get their hands on them. It's not that young people can't, Lewis. There's a lot of states that you can't buy a weapon until you're over 21. Nationally, you can't buy a handgun unless you're 21. You can go to the military, you can sign up and be a Marine, an army, Air Force, whatever, but you can't buy a fucking pistol. No, no, you're fine, Lewis. I'm not, when I, my, my anger and my frustration is not at you. It's at the situation because it's incredibly frustrating. You can own a house at through certain methods you can actually own a house at 16 or 17 depending on your state dc greens believe it or not now you don't fully own it because there's a lot of legal stuff with 18s not being able to sign contracts and yada yada but de facto own and you can have a pistol under 21 you just can't buy it your parents have to buy it for you which gets into a gray area with the buying of firearms Oh, Lewis, we don't we don't stray away from controversial topics in this stream. We don't stray away from it all, man. 
we have great conversations we keep everybody tied together in 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 decent talk and nobody gets bitched at each other and gets mean if they do they get yeeted and uh we have a lot of really good conversations in here about stuff you can't carry a pistol that's state the, the federal government doesn't have any rules on states that's state stuff next range session i'm not sure mad chad i got a lot of work to do man youtube and content wise You can drive at 16. You, you can you can get a learner's permit at 16, right? When can you actually drive by? That's state too. State to state changes. Each state has its own little rules with when you get a learner's permit, when you can drive without an adult, all that stuff state to state. I had my learner's permit in Alabama, and when I moved to Pennsylvania, they took it away from me, and I'd been driving for over a year. I technically have been driving for about three years because I was driving in Montana because back then nobody gave a fuck out here. You could drive. I could drive my dad's truck around all the time, but... We don't know when it ends, Trevor. What do you think is your opinion on movement? Um, I think guns are more accurate than they need to be. I think they went too far on dialing the strength back. Um, I agree. I don't think where we're at right now is where the devs want it. But I don't know. I think I went to daytime too. <laughs> Whoops. Because this right here, guys, this isn't hip fire. This is point fire. Your PMC is point firing. And this is relatively accurate, especially if you're trained. You can point fire just fine. Um, the accuracy of point fire in a game sense might be a problem. And if they want to change it for that reason, I don't have a problem with it. Why daytime? Because it was an accident. I meant to go nighttime. That's why I had NVGs on. Those NVGs are worth probably 700,000 rubles that were sitting on my head right there, which is why I tossed them out in the bush. I like how the red dot just kind of shows up between stuff. BSG picked one of the hardest games to design between guys. They're trying to build a, a hardcore realistic shooter that is still enjoyable to play as a video game. And... Doing that means that you have to sacrifice one or the other sometimes. If you want an aspect to be incredibly realistic, you've got to balance. You've got to throw away gameplay balance. But if you the, if the, you throw away too much gameplay balance, the game isn't fun to play. Therefore, you've got to adjust for that and make it to where it's playable. Which is why Nikita in his Broken Russian always talks about realistic as playable. It's not even a rickety bridge they're trying to cross just they're trying to build a fucking bridge it's not something that anybody's ever really done because everybody picks one or the other right i either go um i either go for realism i.e arma 3 some other games like that that are full-on tactical mil sim or they go for fun gameplay battlefield call of duty you know they don't nobody's tried to cross that those two genres together all i mean there have been attempts but not at the scale at which bsg is doing it and not as successful as bsg has done it
That is a dead player. Pretty sure. This is where we go crest the hill and get head eyes. Pretty sure. That player dead. Just gonna make sure. Where did our players go? There's one right... Oh, it's a bullet hole. Fuck, where did our players go? Shouldn't have taken that shot. It wasn't a guaranteed shot. I need to find the players before we do any more else. Bullshit here. I think we hit him. Did I bring a backpack in chat?
feel like that was a bloodhound, maybe? Maybe not? Certainly was. Somebody up here fighting at power right now. And I want to get around them and get up on top and look back towards these guys at, at gas. Ones for advent for bloodhounds is still going, yeah. So I think our boy is dead right there. And somebody behind is throwing grenades and there's somebody in gas right here. I'm almost positive. Or in power, there's somebody in power right now. Cause we heard those like pistol shots or SKS shots or something. No, cause I don't want to tip my hand that I'm running I don't want to tip my hand too much about running a thermal. It's a dead giveaway. Somebody's got a thermal is when your buddy's dead body keeps getting shot. I 
because I don't know who that guy could have been the guy that was in power that we heard and he was just trying to be sneaky and come up over this side fucking near impossible to tell exactly what that is that's going on and I kind of feel like our other player is down in gas now like looking for bloodhounds There's so many fucking bullet holes up here now that it's hard to like just if I catch a glimmer of a thermal it's going to be very hard for me to tell if it's a player or not does the bullet holes show up but my guess is is these guys don't have a thermal because we haven't seen them like try to shoot this dead guy over here yet I mean, I could be completely wrong about that. Some players are just really bad. Some players are just really bad with thermals, so... At this point, I'm not even sure what to do. Because my guess is that this guy on the road died to the uh, bloodhounds. Is my guess. So that's a dead player there. I think I pain pill and try to make a move. Because none of these other thermals... Oh, there he is right there.
What's he shooting? Who's shooting at what now? Got a little bit of a third party coming in, huh? That guy's geared. He saw me too. I don't know if you chat, you saw that, but he went prone. He, he crouched to take a shot at us. And then I just potatoed my fucking shots at him. That's hundred percent. What just happened right there is that guy went to take shots at us. And I, I should have had him, but I panicked because I was afraid he was going to shoot at me. I wanted to get shots on him before he could land one on us. Is that dead? There he is right there. I just seen him. Walk back for me, buddy. Walk back for me. Gonna use that to hopefully be able to get a position on him now. Hopefully he takes cover behind and I can... Because what I want to do is I want to get down on the beach behind, around him. Or he doesn't know we're here. It's gonna be really tough to do. But it's gonna be an epic flank if I can pull it off. We get into a gunfight down here. We are fucked. This is the high risk, high reward chat. Because I need to get all the way back by that sign so he doesn't hear me cross the road. That's him or not.
I don't know, chat. Do I take the shot here? Do we check for de that guy being dead? just die to a scab I legit feel like that guy just died to a scav. There's his body. I can hear a fucking scab around here somewhere. Where is he? This was our boy. We got about 10 other people to loot. What did I have? I had a lion and some other shit in my bag too, didn't I? That's actually kind of worth going back and finding. God, there is so many fucking dead bodies up here. Glad we didn't shoot at this body. Would have given our fucking position away hardcore. Ooh. Don't mind if I do.
Wanting to pee yourself, bitch. Fucker. Because this guy came in and killed the player that we've been dancing around with for fucking ever. I think this guy died to... What the fuck? Scavs don't go in the back of that normally, do they? Like that? The Marky Mark, thank you for the Prime sub. Kosanovoski. Kosanovoski. I said it right. Yay! Thank you for the, pr the brand new Prime sub, dude. Thank you. I'm a little engrossed in this right now, if you can't tell. I think I killed a PMC at the back of that thing that was hiding from scavs, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's the first player I killed. That's right. I got I walked up behind and shot in the back of the fucking head. Poor bastard. This is the guy we shot from across. Completely fucked up his armor, of course. I'm gonna have more fucking loot than I know what to do with, guys. Like we're gonna, th I'm gonna throw my arsass out. There's nothing. The line isn't really worth taking. It's only worth. What, uh, 18k a slot, give or take? So uh, I probably won't worry about going across and getting it. I think I killed the non-AI that was down there, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm 
my backpack is right here. Not my backpack anymore. Um, okay, so search. Uh, we'll put you in there and you in there. We'll unload you. Throw that out. Um, oh, da, 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 da. Throw you out. Shit, where did my gun go? There it is. No, damn it. What point do you usually switch from armored tack rig to armored rig from min max? Um, anymore, it doesn't really matter. You just run the best armor you can is really all you need to do. Worrying about anything other than that is, um, for the most part, irrelevant. only taking me about four minutes to get to the extract. We'll see what we can get off of these guys. Like that kind of stuff. Oh, that HPC is trash, dude. Why was I even worrying about that? Somebody got down here and looted them. A fucking scav or something came through here and looted them. Is that what I fucking killed down there? Was a fuck the player that looted these things? Check the pistol, but he didn't check the uh, chat. I feel like that's the player right there. I killed that fucking player, unless it was a scav that got down there. Can't take this MDR.
Forrest Gump cocktail. Let's go. Is there anything to make hideout profitable? I make about 500,000 an hour in my hideout right now, Levin. We're going to see question marks. I know it when we get out of raid. I fucking know it. We're going to see question marks. And that guy's dead with a bunch of loot on him too, probably. What are bloodhounds? Exclamation point tit, Douglas. My video will get you up the bar. It's short, only like five minutes. Wipe date prediction? Well, I already wiped today, so the next one will probably be tomorrow. Am I a 2A supporter or a tyrant? God. Are you a Sith? That was quite the raid. That was quite the damn raid. Whew. It was a scav that we shot down there. Who the fuck was this? I didn't kill somebody with a grenade, did I? No. Who the fuck was that? we kill one of the guys in the bushes and didn't even realize it? It had to have been one of the guys behind gas, right? Because this is the guy we killed on the hill that was prone. That was by power. That was this guy. We got his tag. So this had to have been somebody on the hill that we just shot and didn't get their tag. Somebody else did. I honestly don't remember who it was. That's the thing about thermals. You see lots of question marks with thermals. Show the side camera. There's not really anything to see. Everything's put away in the gun safe. Am I'm still live? Oh, it is six hours. All right, everybody. It's uh, Pejidin's fault for the stream ending because he reminded me that it was six hours. Everybody yell at him. It's his fault.
Uh, Hellcat, thank you for the eight months, my friend. See him, thank you for the prime. And the Marky Mark, thank you for the two months. I'm kidding, dude. I'm kidding. We're not getting off right now. Soon, though. Can't go much more than six hours. I was going to do two YouTube videos today, and I got distracted this morning, so I didn't do them. So now I got to go do videos, and I can't stay on all day. Yo, there were fucking like seven arsasses in that raid. What the hell? Look at all the damn dog tags. Jesus Christ. And I didn't, one of them, I didn't get one of them. Yo. Gamer felonies. Chill the F out, man. You, they're right. You're killing the goddamn vibe. So chill, relax. We talk about guns in here all the fucking time. We talk about it like sane, regular people and we don't fucking attack others or berate them or belittle them. So. God damn. Boy coming in hot. Southern Flamingo, thank you for the tier one, dude. So that's interesting. That's another thing I don't see is when you guys do something hype, I didn't see any mod actions. Was there a mod action? Oh, you just banned him? Imagine coming straight into a stream, having no any, know anything about it, and picking a fight with a moderator in the stream. Doesn't that seem a little contrived? Almost intentional? for doing this kind of stuff too. Well, that boy had an MCX hiding somewhere. Interesting. Happy to hear Southern Flamingo. You know, Hype, that was a conversation I was having with somebody the other day that quite literally one of the worst enemies of the fucking, the gun community is the gun community. All of the self-righteous assholes that think they're better than everybody else. And when they talk to somebody who isn't a gun person, they talk down to them. It's like, I hate, I almost hate those people as much as I hate anti-gun people. How's the hunt? Slow. I think we're only at two kills. We keep getting there after a bunch of them are killed already. But we're surviving. We just had, what, nine player tags on us? I don't I remember what it was, eight or nine that we just had on player tags on us because we 
fucking mopped up the map. You imagine paying all of the money for an Arsas and leaving it stock. Imagine. And putting a blue laser on it. It's a good thing I took this from him. He didn't deserve to have it. Counterplay for running somebody thermal. Yeah, reposition behind concealment. Move around. People with thermals almost always get tunnel vision, Pyron, after they engage you. They almost always get tunnel vision. So the best way to counter somebody with a thermal is just get around them. And by around them, I mean like 180 around them. Just like we did in that last raid. I wasn't sure if that man had a thermal or not. He didn't. But my long... Fl he ended up backing up so far because he was expecting somebody to push over that hill that we flanked so far, we still got around him. What caliber did I shoot on a daily base? What do you mean, did I shoot? Like... Question unclear, Zach Zach. How do I craft two things at once? Max hideout crafting. Or max crafting skill, it's not hideout crafting. Exclamation point crafting skills will give you a link to my video that explains all of it in detail on how to do it yourself. God damn, we burned a lot of stims. All right, so we need a... We need a mule. An SJ6. A 
trimital. I should have a trimital in my container though. Maybe not. Mr. Six, Trimadol, Mule. Okay, we're good there. We're good there. Don't need all of these mags. Oh, we got an extra gun still. With an ugly suppressor on it. I guess that's the next best thing on quote unquote budget, but yuck. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Sorry, chap. Oh, I did all this and I still forgot. I was gonna be like, oh yeah, let's go get uh, let's go get our crafting done so I can make dollars because I'm just gonna sell green gunpowder and then I completely forget to fucking start the craft. That's a long time. Darth Bosco with 18 months. My man. Thank you, sir. Kingswit with tier one. Brand new. Much appreciated. And MLG since 1973. Thank you for the five months, dude. Why the Trimadol? If you have an SJ6 and a Trimadol, you can run, jump for three minutes without stopping. Even if you're overweight without a mule. She said, mommy said dinner's starting, so she brought it up here. That's what she said. Yeah, but we were still watching the show and I had it paused and the automatically threw it off. Mommy didn't even say 
Okay. Well, we'll wait till she gets back up here. A lot to unpack right there. Yeah, it's. An... She's pretty upset. Whoa. Three days into summer and... I keep forgetting what I'm trying to do. Oh yeah, we're waiting on the flea market to empty a slot so that I could get dollars. All right, hang on a sec, chat. Okay, what's not selling? I need dollars before I can finish building out my RSAS. I think we have enough now. For like the fifth time I'm trying to do this. How old? Basically eight and 10. One likes to be a rebel without a cause and the other one likes to be bossy. And sometimes they change places. junk dude i don't have every, my my stash is just one button press away from like I, we get some money we're gonna do some bloodhound stuff but we get some money i'm gonna bit, get a thick case which will clean up most of this down here um we got to get a thick weapon case which will clean up all of this and uh yeah Well, 
and restart my game chat. Not too bad, little nerd. We're having some good raids, man. We're not making a lot of progress on the task, but that's fine. Best advice to ta- oh yeah, as far as leveling, tasks give- I mean, surviving is number one, but tasks give an absolute absurd amount of XP, um, especially once you get into some of the Jaeger tasks, so that's usually the best way to go about it. kill the gram when I thermal while doing the task. I usually do it on customs, dude. Um, right now is a really tough time to be doing that task because whenever events like this happen, you end up with more people doing thermals than um, normal.
How's the Bloodhound gun going? Slow, but fun. We're kind of more worrying about players and stuff. I think I've killed, how many have I killed now? Nine, 11, I've killed 11 or 12 of them so far, but we've died a couple of times. Forgot to reset once, so it's kind of a... Yeah, Nightbot can only do one at a time because you have to um, you have to be signed in with various accounts. There's no way to it, that's how it knows who to join is based on how you sign in. So we had kind of set it up, Bargy. We had linked it, but in order to have the bot join the channel um, through Nightbot, there's a Twitch Nightbot and a YouTube Nightbot. Bad work, you're welcome. Reddit is, Reddit is discontinuing free use of their API. <laughs> Getting hacked on you like you recently. We ran into one cheater earlier, but this kind of is what it is, man. This is a relatively okay spawn. Um, you just gotta be careful about people coming up behind you like we, we've done to a couple people so far. Scav back there is a good thing. He'll be a slight distraction. Hopefully get up here and we can pop a couple right out the gate and boogie out. Nobody has a closer spawn than us, but people can come down from above, depending on what they're doing. Plus, we're, we're getting into gamer hours now. We've been in gamer hours for about an hour and a half, but... none here so I think that means we head up fucking fight the stupid bastards in power because you know that's always fun to do see if we can get down in some of these depressions so if somebody shows up with a thermal they don't see us Kind of positioning sucks so much because we are literally probably between four different potential spawns right now that are all going to be coming this direction and if any of them have a thermal they will very likely see us before i see them
I think I'm just bad. So much for our armor. Where's the PMC that's going to be coming up behind us? Fucking positive he's going to be there. How many more do I need? 28. All of them. Check again, see if there's anybody, anybody around, and uh, try not to get bopped in the face on this fucking ridge right here. Such a bad place to try and fight a mat, man. Oh, I shouldn't have. After the first couple of shots, I shouldn't have fought him there. I should have known better. It's not good cover. It's not far enough away. It's not good for the Fleer to be that close. Oh, well. Hopefully nobody finds our gear. Um that's a tough quest to do, man. All right, well, I think we're going to wrap her up there, guys. Wrap it up there for the evening. I'm going to go eat some dinner. And uh, do a couple YouTube videos. If you're a Patreon, we'll be doing a crafting video. I got everything lined up to do that, so we'll do I'm going to do that first. And then I'm going to do a loot guide, something I haven't done in forever. I'm um, going to do a loot guide for everybody else. Uh, just throwing gear on to get it out of them so it's not sitting in my stash for this video I want to do. But everybody that came out today, appreciate it. You guys are great. Thanks for the support, whether you're over on YouTube, whether you're on Twitch. Um, either way, don't matter. You guys are great. Uh, on YouTube, we don't have anybody to raid. I don't know if we have... Is there anybody on on Twitch? Anybody for us to raid on Twitch? Ooh, we'll throw you guys over to Stankrat. Say hi to him. But 
tomorrow um we'll see i might i want to do some more diablo so i might do diablo tomorrow i'm not sure to be 100 percent honest i'm not entirely sure what i'm gonna do tomorrow but for all of you guys on youtube thank you so much um Everybody on Twitch, go say hi to Stankrat for me. Fun day today. I had a lot of fun. We got a lot of good PvP. Killed some Bloodhounds. It is what it is. You guys have a wonderful rest of your Monday. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right? Later, everybody.